Wait a second, what if I tell you that this VS Code extension will blow your mind? Whether you are a web 2 developer or a web 3 developer, this will give you the complete architecture of the project which you are working on. So whether you are building a normal application or whether you are building a decentralized application, it will show you the complete architecture of the project which you are building. What are the components you have utilized? How you have sending the prop? What data is getting flowed? So this will give you the complete architecture in a visual representation. So let me give you a complete walkthrough that how you can install that and how you can test on the project which you are working on. So here I have opened VS code studio and here i have opened one of the project which i'm working on for my paid course so in that you will guys learn a lot of things so right now i don't want to promote that course but i want to tell you that the course is coming soon so you guys can take if you are interested in that so this is the project completely i'm working on and now let me show you that how you can install and what is the name of that ex extension so come here into the extension section and here you have to type simply so this is the name of the extension you have to type and as you can see that i have already installed in my vs code studio so if you click on this you will have something like this all you have to do is to click on this install button in your case if you haven't installed that but i have already installed so you can see it's already there and you can scroll down and you can able to find that how and what you will get so this is something how your code would look like so you can easily able to find the starting point and the ending point and you can able to see that how the data is flowing so i'm going to show you every single thing okay so if you are interested you can simply read on this you can go they have a brief documentation here so what i will do i have already have this extension in my vs code so i will simply remove that and i'm going to come here so this is the project which i'm working on and now what i have to do is so once you install successfully and restart your vs code studio you will find a option button here so start tree you can see i hope you guys can see that simply click on this and here you will have this dashboard so here you have to initialize the starting point so just imagine that you want to check the starting point of your application in my case i want to start my application from the index page so i'll come back to the pages so i don't need to go into from here so you can see here i have a bunch of pages i can test this individually so to test whatever page, whatever component, whatever data flow you want, all you have to do is to click here, select file. So the moment you will select files here, a window pop up will open and from here you have to go back into your project. So here I'm already inside my project and here I have all of these pages. Make sure you have to pick the project which you want to check the data flow and the component, all of this thing. So in this scenario, what I will do, I want to check my index page. So I will simply scroll down and I have a bunch of pages, but I want to start with this index one. So if you click here and if you select, it will give you the complete tree of your index page that what are the components you have utilized in your index page? What are the props you are sending? So you can see this is the index and starting point of the particular page. Inside that I have used these folders. So I have used this global component folder. This one is also a global component folder. This is a page component. This one is a global component and this one is global component. So you can see that we have a multiple global component because we have used component from the global folders, the folder we have created right up here inside from this global component, we have utilized four component so that's why you can see that so you can see if you click here you can able to redirect to this import component section and here you can able to find that all the component you have in the global section okay so that's pretty impressive now if you come here you can see this question mark if you click on that it will show you the props which you are sending so that what data you are transferring from one component from this index page to this component so you can see this is the function this is the props we are sending in this component if you click on this it will show you this one so you can see that it will highlight all the component which you are using in that particular project now what i will do i'll simply cut this one and let's try to check something else so this time i'm going to pick uh, let's say what we should pick now so this time we're going to go with the uh, this blockchain one okay i'll click on this blockchain and here you can see this is the component section for the blockchain page so i know that in the blockchain section i have cards and that i'm passing the data so you can see if you click on this here you will find that what are the props you are receiving so this is the props we are getting from the header component so you can see this is set open notice actually it's a pop notice component which i have used that's one and this one and if you come back to the page components if, if you click on that here we are using this data so this one is the data the props we are sending from this page and we are sending into the components this is the global component and this one is another props we have sent so open notice and set notice so this is really very helpful because this will give you an idea that whenever you work on any page or any component so what are the props you are sending so this one is really helpful when it's come to checking for the props 
and it will also highlight that you from where you are getting most of your components so right now you can see that the majority of the components are coming from the global component one two and three so if you go into this if you click on this it will take you to this so if you click on this sorry if you have to click here in this one if you click on that you can able to come into this page and from here you can easily able to identify that what component you are utilizing from which section so we have this header and we know that we are getting this header from the global component so this is the global we have this is the footer we have and this is the notice we have so these are the three component we are getting from the global one so this one is pretty interesting and it will give you a very good idea that what component you have utilized and how you are dealing with the data okay so i must tell you that no matter what type of developer you are whether you are working on a web 2 space or a web 3 space you have to know these tool exist and this tool will help you a lot when you will do the security texting when you will try to find bug because sometimes what happened that we build the code we know every single thing that this is the component we have utilized but somehow we miss something and it's become very hard to find and readjust the entire code so that's very important for a developer point of view that you have to know you have to write the clean code and this will give you a visual representation of a single page or a single component that how the data is flowing and on the base of that you can design the entire application because performance is one of the key important key component of any application if no matter how good application you build but if it's not performance based or user experience then it's not going to help you okay so this is how you can improve your productivity how this is how you can make your development fast and you can make high performance applications so hope this entire thing makes sense and do let me know in the comment section that how you guys feel about this extension and how it's going to help you so do let me know that do you really like this extension or not i just want to know your feedback and i'm going to make these kind of video very frequently and that i'm going to show you that what are the tools and technology i use regularly on my project because you know that i'm a full stack blockchain developer so i have to write the smart contract and i have to build the front end so i have to know both the things and both the technology exist in both the areas okay there is too many both so hope this thing makes sense to all of you guys if you still have any confusion in doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help you in that have a wonderful day bye, -bye.